I had to rob Bell and Ross. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Go, go, go. What's up people, welcome to my channel. A week ago, my buddy Abdullah did a review on the Bell & Ross BR03 Cyber Ceramic. Do check out his video cause I think it is a pretty good review. This here is my take on this precious. precious. Having ventured into every territory of watchmaking over 30 years, Bell & Ross has now developed a unique technical and stylistic expression that looks to the future. At least that's what Bell & Ross is saying, and I don't disagree. There aren't anything like this out there and I've not seen anything close to this, unless you're referring to their only watch. The Cyber Rainbow <sighs> Only watch Perhaps a conversation for another day. The case you see here is a combination of BR's iconic BR03 form with the Cyber's collection graphic and futuristic code. The case is made out of a matte black ceramic mixed with diamond powder that is carved out in one piece, giving it better protection, strength, and lightweight. This avant-garde case is evoked by the powerful design of stealth aircraft with angular cuts and sharp edges reflecting waves like how spy planes becomes undetectable to radar, making it look very serious and dangerous. This cyber line of watches still holds true to their heritage and design. A square case with four screws. Alright, a squarish case with four screws. Okay, okay, okay. A squarish case pack with four screws. There are no lugs extended to hold the strap but a cutout into the case to house the strap instead. The Cyber Ceramic comes only with one black rubber strap which is their BP021. The pin buckle is made out of a matte black PVD steel with the words BR engraved on it. Due to its slopping case and luckless design, it's surprisingly easy to wear this. There are no crown guards on this piece which gives it a clean look. The sign pull-out crown shares similar angular design as the cyber futuristic case. Before we head on to the juicy parts, I would really appreciate if you could support the channel by hitting that like, subscribe and bell icon as it will really help me to carry on to make more videos like this and bring you 7 years of good luck. Thank you. The function of a stealth aircraft is translated into the movement and dial of the cyber ceramic which is invincibility. The BR Caliber 383 forms the workhorse and the dial of this watch in a skeletonized form with the balance wheel beating away at a 6 o'clock position and the barrel cover that resembles a turbine engine. Baron Ross is famous for having a dial that is easy to read. This however is not. I'm not saying it's impossible to read the time, I'm just saying that it will probably take you a micro of a second to find that skeletonized bee blasted hour and minute hand, which is Loom by the way, that is camouflaged with all that skeletonized bridges and movement. Now that we've touched on the elephant in the room, here are my thoughts on this piece. The simplistic metallic indices and logo are affixed underneath the AR coated sapphire crystal. Parallel to the 1, 2, 4, 5, 7, 8, 10 and 11 o'clock indices are the skeletonized bridges which obscure the printed lines on the sapphire crystal but also materializes itself as indices in the dial. This intelligent design helps to declutter its panorama. Most bridges on a skeletonized dial are two-dimensional. The concave bridges on the cyber ceramic, however, 
gives it a three-dimensional skeletonization. Not only is the facet and angles creating the concave, a nod to a stealth aircraft, it also gives out a light sheen whenever light bounces on it, further underlining the three-dimensional angular skeletonization. Speaking about skeletonization, the design here resembles a silhouette of the cyber skull. Can you see it? And I digress. The angular design is consistent throughout its hands, movement, rotor, and including its sapphire crystal which flows in tandem with the angular case. Most angular watches would have a rounded sapphire crystal as it is easier and less costly to make them. This however gives a box-shaped octagon sapphire crystal on both its front and back which gives out a very nice bling like diamonds. With all that I have said, you can understand why having perfect readability on the dial is only secondary. This is not a watch. It's a right to brag. Consider this. The skeletonized movement, as I know it, was specifically designed for the cyber ceramic which is limited to only 500 pieces. Alright, alright. If you were to include the cyber rainbow, then it would be 501 pieces. Yet, this is only retailed at this price. I think it is still a very decent watch to have. Unfortunately, due to the lack of finance, I had to succumb to a less honourable way of getting this watch. I had to rob Bell & Ross. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Go, go. Whilst planning my escape, I realised that I left my bag, wallet and MacBook at the store. I had no choice but to go back and get my belongings. To beg for forgiveness, I ended up getting something else from them. Anyway, if you want to check out the Cyber Ceramic and you are around the area, do check out Baron Ross at the Exchange TRX or at your local distributor. Until the next one, thank you for watching.